Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to be answering random questions and I just want to talk a little bit more about myself. So yeah, if you want to know more about me, then please just keep on watching. So before we get started on the questions that people ask me, I'm just going to tell you guys some things about myself. So my name is Heaven Nicole Veloso. That's my full name. My birthday is on May 30th, 1998. So I'm currently 19 years old. I love makeup, love coffee. I actually searched up some questions. So I like this, this question. What's the first thing you notice about people? I think about this and I have two answers. So if they're really far away from me and I see them from like afar, I notice like their shoes. I don't know why. Like shoes are not that important to me but that's just the first thing i see and if they're close to me like if they like they pass they pass by me and they're like right here i notice the scent if you smell good i like you um scary movie or happy endings scary movie i have three siblings they're all girls my older sisters are twins and my little sister is really really smart she's crazy i came to canada like almost eight years ago and I draw so these paintings they're all mine um, I like I love painting and I like art that was my favorite subject ever and my favorite shop is Zara I don't know why that's important but it's my favorite shop ever and I I don't like to read I'm so lazy and I love candy so yeah that's it for some things about me and those are some things that um you super like random about me and here are some questions that some of you guys asked okay so the first question is ilang oras pinakamahaba mong tulog last june i'm sure the longest one is more than 10 hours but maybe less than 15 hours next question is why is the grass green there should be an explanation but eh. okay so this one is worst experience ever this question is so hard to answer because I don't know like what is this guy talking about like in makeup like in school uh, boyfriends so I just thought about this and I'm sure I will think about something really bad later on but right now this is the one thing I could think of but when I was in grade 10 um, my sisters and I we played on like the same badminton team and we like made it to like the finals where you fight for the banner like you know when you um you win your like division you win a banner so we were one game away so we got silver and it was like i was more sad after like when i saw them taking pictures and they were holding the banner and stuff like that because it's been like forever since our school has gotten a badminton badminton banner so we were like oh my god we really wanted this and we just didn't get it and it was so sad this person asked, Sino sa mga ex mo ang pinakaminahal mo at iniyakan mo? I feel like I cried evenly for all of them. Let me think about this. I don't know if this is gonna make sense, but so if I'm being completely honest, my other ex we dated for two years and then the other one we dated for about seven or eight months. I think I cried like with tears more with the two year guys. But the other one, it was more like I felt so sad. But like, no, there was no tears. That was more like thinking about it more than like crying and like bawling about it. She also asked, um, who did you love the most? And obviously, I can't say I love them evenly, but I can't answer that because I feel like you love a person in a different way. Like each and every person you meet in your life, you love them in a different way. So I don't know. I can't answer that. Next one is how did you get into makeup and how does your make and how does makeup play a role in your life? Honestly, I started um, playing with makeup. I think when I was in grade nine, I started um, using eyeliners or mascara, and then I started loving eyeshadows. I love eyeshadows. Like foundation can go away, but never eyeshadow. I started collecting makeup. I think in grade 11, I just really wanted to always be looking at makeup and I like collecting them, I like buying them. And how does makeup play a role in your life? It kind of actually makes me really happy. Like when I'm sad or like I'm thinking about something and I just look at them and swatch them and stuff like that. I just, it's a, such a big part of my life because it makes me so happy and it's one thing I can talk about for hours. Like if someone asks me a question like about palettes and stuff like that, I can talk about it for hours 
and I wouldn't mind like you can ask me a billion questions about makeup and I wouldn't mind talking to you for like forever like it makes me so happy to just even talk about it um, what did I pack for my Philippines trip that is coming up I haven't really packed um for sure I'm gonna pack like the, the night before because I don't know I don't like packing early yeah for makeup she also asked me like um Paano makeup mo sa tindi ng sunshine noon? She asked me how I'm gonna do my makeup because it's so hot there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be wearing a lot of makeup because it is so hot. And like whenever we're there, we're just always rushing. And like you wake up, you take a shower and we're going. So for sure, it's gonna be brows and mascara and a little bit of concealer. Um, or maybe brows, mascara, and like bronzer. I might bring the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation because I love that foundation for the concealer i'm gonna bring the nyx photo photogenic photo, yes photogenic concealer and then the wet n wild concealer rate yourself in zero percent to a hundred percent how god is you are honestly i feel sometimes i feel like i'm 110 and then sometimes i feel like i'm negative 10 but right now i'm feeling i'm feeling about like 80 um but on if i'm being completely honest i mostly feel 80% because I only feel the only time I feel like I'm negative 10% is when I have so many like textures on my face and that's like my biggest insecurity about my face but that's such a cute question okay how many boys have you dated I've dated three three guys how many boys did you flirt with definitely it's less than 10 okay, Josh asked me mahalaga ba sayo si Josh Which celebrity do you fantasize the most? I think Sam Milby is like, oh my god. If I see him in person, oh my god. I think I will just about die, die, die. Honestly, I'll be like, he's so beautiful. I'm just like, how can someone be that good looking? Like, it's impossible. I love this question so much. Thank you for asking this. You know who you are. What's more important, truth or happiness? To me, definitely it's the truth. That's why I hate the saying, what they don't know won't hurt them. Eventually, you will find out. Whatever they're hiding from you, eventually you will find out. And yeah, not so happy anymore. I want to know what you're feeling and what you're really thinking instead of um, sugarcoating what you're going to say to me. I just prefer a person that is um, honest other than the person that makes me super happy and you're lying to me. Um, what made you start a YouTube channel? I've been wanting a YouTube channel forever. Like since high school, I've been saying to myself, after high school, I'm gonna do it. And one year later, I finally did it. Yeah, I've just been wanting it for so long that I just decided to do it. Next one is, are you single? Yes, I am, unfortunately. No, let's not, let's not put that word. Just kidding. I don't hate being single, but right now it actually feels so good. And the fact that I'm going to school in September, I'm getting more and more excited about it. Okay, what is your holy grail makeup? Um, I can't, I can't pick, I can't pick one product. It's gonna be the pomade, the dip brow pomade. So yeah, that's it for this question and answer video. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love filming it. It was, it was a little bit different, but I really like it. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in my next one.